Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Owning Up Podcast. You guys, I am doing a series um, in preparation for my PCS. I think a lot of times we as business owners, um, you know, we're getting ready to move. And uh, for me specifically, so I'm getting ready to move. I'm moving my business, my entire company, um, my home. I'm moving to Virginia, which means there are so many different things that need to happen internally in my business. And so I'm going to be doing a small series of a couple of minutes uh, sharing um, about my PCS journey, the process, things that I'm finding frustrating, ways that I am overcoming those um, hard things, especially like trying to get the business, handling a team, uh, the logistics, outsourcing, um, you know, deadlines, all of those things I'm going to have to be thinking about ahead of time. So I'm going to start with this week because I actually just made a PCSing board for my family. I know it sounds crazy. If you haven't done it, though, you should totally do it. Um, and I downloaded the My Ultimate PCS app, which is an app that I created a few years ago um, to help with the PCS process. And I added a business section. So I not only did that on my app so that I could get reminders, but I did it in my uh, Monday.com board, which Monday is one of our partners. So obviously, I naturally use them. And then I added my family that um, all my family has technology. So I think it's really important to get them involved in the process. Um, before, when we used to PCS, I used to feel like it was my entire responsibility. Um, and now I feel like it's everybody's responsibility, especially now since like I also work, Roy works, my kids have their life. Like I'm just not, before when I was just a stay at home mom is my main priority. I made sure that I got everything done so that we could be the most successful. And I really took pride in it. And now I'm like, I'm one person and I'm managing multiple companies with multiple team members, multiple corporations. And it's just really hard to try to do it all. And I don't want to do it all. That's the thing I don't. So like I said, a couple of the things that I did um, this week was to get organized. And because I felt the overwhelm and I felt like super anxious about it. And I think when you are a business owner where people are relying on your product or service, it's really easy to get overwhelmed and feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. How is this going to go afloat? So Obviously, there's two things you can do when you're going to PCS. You can do one of two things. You can put business on hold or you can create systems to be successful. Obviously, I'm not going to put AMC on hold because we have members that rely, us, rely on us all over the globe, thousands of members, and we have partners and we have things that are set in motion even during my PCS that um, we're just going to have to be smart about it, right? So... Um, so there's number one. That's the first thing you need to decide, my friend, is whether you're going to put your business on hold, um, period. You could hire somebody to run things um, in your place. And then number three, you could just decide to get systems in place. So obviously this, what we're going to talk about is getting your systems in place and set up during this PCS. So then after that, number two is you need to start a uh, project management board, and you can do that with monday.com. They're pretty incredible. If you don't like Monday, you can try Trello. Trello is really easy as well, or Asana. But why do that when you can get monday.com for free and get the premium? So yeah, just log into your MC dashboard and grab that code, my friend. Um, and then the third thing you have to start doing is you have to decide what your what are things that you you do that nobody else can do. That's number one. What are the things that you do that nobody else can do? And then number two, give yourself deadlines and grace and periods of absentee of where you can be absent from that. So for me as a CEO, <laughs> nobody can do what I do, some of the taskings. And some of my taskings specifically are partnerships, finances, um, and uh, so partnerships and finances. Those are the top two things. Okay, so the top two things I can, nobody else can do are finances for my corporations and partnerships, right? So those are the top two things that I handle that nobody else can do in my company. And so I need to make sure that number one, I have systems in place, that I inform people, and that I do things ahead of time. So 
that is what I'm tackling this week to get myself set up. So we are supposed to PCS in June. So that gives me March, April, and May, three and a half months to get ready to be successfully PCS'd. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know if that's enough time for real. But, you know, I just find that a lot of the time, and I've done this before in the past where I've PCS and it's just been off the whim. Like I'm not prepared at all. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, um, you know, who's what I'm, I'm just not being informative. And so I really want to be strategic in doing it this time, because this time now more than ever, I have more team members. I have 25 team members. I have more things at stake that if things fall through, there are more things that can like repercussions or things that can happen. It's, it's like a domino effect, right? So a couple of the really cool things um, that I have, and I can share this with you guys as well. Um, a few years ago in the Mill Spouse Creative, when I started that group, um, and if you're not part of the Mill Spouse Creative, it is a free community on Facebook. It's basically just a networking place for people to come and connect um, and meet other people just like them. Um, so a few years ago, I had started, I did a roadmap. I'm going to pull it up here. Let's see. ECS roadmap. I did one here um, a few years ago. I'm pulling it up now because I'm just going to, I'm showing it as we go along and we're going to kind of talk through it. Um, so um, let's see. We have it. It says PCSing without your business fall apart. <laughs> so number one, create a plan. And that's what I'm doing. I'm creating a plan. How am I doing that? I'm putting my systems in place which is really, really great. I have to put those systems in place for a reason so I do not fail. And it here it says 90 days out. Put your move on your calendar at least 90 days out and inform clients, team members, establish expectation goals during your PCS. And I think that is so important because a lot of times I feel like we're just doing alone. But if you have a team, if you have clients, if you have partners, you have to inform them that you're going to be out of pocket um, and what that looks like. So maybe it's, hey, your contract comes out at the end of this month. I'm not going to be renewing it because I'm moving or I have a new person that's going to be taking over the account during these next three months during I move and then do an introduction, right? Or just like letting them know the worst thing you can do is not let your client know that you are PCSing when they need something or if somebody reaches back out to them or replies to them and they don't even know who it is. So communication is key. You have to prioritize that. You also have to let your team know. So why do you have to let your team know? Even though you're the boss, you have to let them know so they know if they need things from you. If something happens, you have to have a plan together. Who's in charge? Like all of those things, it's so important. And um, I'm really grateful for my team. They are just on top of it already. And we already have a great plan. So you definitely have to let them know. Number two is prioritize. You, my friend, have to to prioritize. And I know that's really hard, especially like with the day to day to prioritize. And what does that prioritizing mean? It means that you have to set up systems so that you don't miss things. So you have to talk about high priority things, things that are making money. Those are things that are going to keep your business moving. If those things are not being done, your business can fall apart from one PCS to another. So the way that you do that is you just make sure you assign somebody your tasks or you put certain things in in pause mode, right? You let clients know, hey, this is what's happening, but your retainer will pick back up later. Or if you want to keep the money kind of flowing, you have to bring somebody on board to learn your processes and systems so they can serve your client the way you serve them. Of course, nobody can ever serve your client the way you serve them, which is why you're so special and you're so great at it. But somebody to just come in place to really help you with that is incredible. Um, and make sure you get those high, high priority things done before you leave. Um, money making tasks need to be consistent. So sometimes you might need to do things ahead of time or push things back or let people know and just inform them. I think, you know, you don't want to lose money during your PCS, right? And then the last thing we're going to talk about today is automation. <laughs> you guys, if you're not automating, you're crazy. You need to be automating. Automating is the best thing that happened in my entire life. And that is means that you are just making your inbox run on autopilot. autopilot. Maybe you have some um, Gmail rules, HubSpot, or Sorted to really help you put those processes and have those automatic responses out. One thing that I really love to do when I'm PCSing that I learned this last time was to 
put an out of office and say, hey, I'm in the middle of moving. Here are other departments if you need to talk to them about this. But if you need to reach me, please give me 24 or 48 hours to respond and then direct them in the right place if they do need to get to talk to somebody right away. I mean, these are just some of the really great um, three great tips that you can start setting yourself up for success in PCSing. And I'm happy to also share this as well. Um, you know, I always like to tell people like the PCS process is your process. You make it what you want it to be. But I think as a business owner, you do have to strategically set yourself up for success and power through and set up processes. Because if people are relying on you the way your clients or your customers, they're, they're not going to stop wanting your product or service. They're still going to want to go to it. So you don't want to stop, right? So you just want to get those things in place. I hope get those, you just want to get those things in place so that you don't feel anxious, overwhelmed, or depleted during your PCS. You also don't want to overdo yourself during your PCS because it can be super stressful if you're trying to do all the things as a military spouse and as a business owner. So anyway, thanks for popping in. I hope that this was super helpful for you if you're PCSing. And um, let me know what you think. If you have any of those, any of these three things set up, if you're creating a plan, if you prioritize your tasks, tasks or automated your inbox after you've decided if you are going to be putting a pause on your business, hiring somebody to help you in your business, or if you are going to be putting systems in place to keep your business afloat. I will see you guys next time on the Owning Up podcast. Make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys tune in to the next episode because I'll be talking about the rest of the tips for PCSing your business successfully.